For those of you that wonder how I get the time to display on that TV that's on my bench, well, wonder no more. I'll show you how it's done. It's uh, actually very simple. And, uh, well, let's see what it is. Not much to it. Check this out. A few of you guys have uh, asked me how I go about generating the clock that's on my little monitor here. Exactly how I do it. So today I'll reveal the secret. And there's not really a big secret. I'll show you what I'm using. There's really nothing mysterious. It's just an old BlackBerry 10. I just I just took I just unplugged it and brought it in here to show it to you guys. But it's just a BlackBerry 10 smartphone, an old one. Um, there's not even a battery in this because the, the one of the reasons this phone went out of service many years ago. This is my first BlackBerry 10 device was because the battery all puffed up and you know it was shot. So. Rather than buy a new battery for it, I got a new phone. I went from this phone to a Z30, and then from the Z30 I went to um, a Priv and had a couple of those, and you know now I'm onto a Samsung. But this phone here, one of the strengths, I still use my Z30. I use it sometimes for demoing stuff. I use it as a music player and so forth um, quite a bit. But um, and I used to use this for, but one of the strengths to these old BlackBerry phones that not too many phones have is, um, they have a HDMI port on the side. That's the kit. That's the key. But they also support Flash. So any any uh, apps that will run Flash, you know, anything, any Flash apps, you can actually run on these phones directly. So when I first booted up, because there's no service on this phone, it doesn't have a valid SIM card in it. When I first booted up, of course, it's going to have the wrong time, but it will pick the right time up. It just takes a second, and uh, it will pick up the network time, and then the time will be correct. And then I can display, like I've, I've got some apps on here that will display stuff as well, but some of the apps that I run on here is, it's a, uh, it's a flash, just a flash. I mean, this has still got all my old apps from when I used this thing as a phone, right, back in the day. I have flip clock and all these these are these are just shortcuts. These are just their seed. The time just got picked up off the network. These are the shortcuts to. Um, they just open the browser. They they are. Uh, I mean, some of them you can you can get apps to do it, but uh, the ones that I quite often will run will, will be ones like, for example, file manager. There we go. Open up my file manager, and I can go into my. Um, it goes under documents. Where did I put it? Or miscellaneous. There we go. Cool clock. SWF. Shockwave. Oh, remember that one? That sometimes show? And, uh, of course, when the phone is turned sideways, it will it'll fill the screen. But uh, as soon as I plug an HDMI cord into this thing, this will display on the TV. And then I, I just take the output from the HDMI here and I just plug that into uh, uh, an HDMI to video converter. The very one that you saw repaired, the one that was that the NTSC in PAL was kind of reversed. It said, um, you know, uh, I forget the title of it, but there's a video I did a few years ago where I bought one of these things from off of uh, Amazon and it didn't work. And uh, I contacted them and they said, I'll just throw it out. And they gave me a refund. It was like 10 bucks. Well, I took it apart, and it was one that looked like it had been found in the garbage. <laughs> Fixed it. That's what I use. Is I use that little that little AV to or that HDMI to AV, and then output to the uh, output to uh, throw the house on the uh, on the house cable. It's just on a modulator. It just feeds throughout the house, and then I just tune the the TV down to whatever channel it's on. I've got it set to like CATV channel seventeen because I just have the high band set on this thing. And uh, then I can just tune the tuning dial on my little my little portable set. I could turn it up to channel nine if I want to look at my security cameras, or turn it down to below channel seven, which is where the mid band is. And I think I think it's seventeen and it's on. Anyway, I just tune it down there, and uh, it'll display on any TV in the house. And I can change these clocks. I don't have to run this one. That was just one that I pulled off of uh, I pulled off of uh, a shockwave. But some of these other ones here have been compiled into uh, into uh, there's. The one that you normally see, right? I, if I turn it this way, it'll display like that. Now you're probably wondering what this is. Well, as I said before, 
the battery was shot on this phone and, and, and just plugging it into a USB charger won't do anything because the phone has to detect that there's a battery in it. If you take the battery out and plug it in, it won't turn on, it won't boot. So what I did was I took the original battery and I ripped the battery apart and I just took the guts, which is the logic out of the battery. There it is there, right? Positive, there's, there's even a fuse still in there, right? There's the battery protection. And I just soldered wires to the four pins, negative, positive, and the two sensor pins to the, because there's an IC and everything on here, this is the battery voltage monitoring and protection circuit. This just goes to a USB uh, plug that's plugged into a cell phone charger. So it just, it only runs off power, but all I use this for is just displaying the time. So, um, that's uh, that's the mystery. There's really not much of a mystery here. It's pretty pretty simple. It was just a finding a use for my old BlackBerry phone that I can uh, I can do stuff with, and uh, you know, and I use it to display the time. And I have I have a number of different clocks. That's that's one of them that I can display. And you know, I've got another one here. This one here will display. I think this one will work. Yeah, it should kick in here. There you go. That's another one that I can display. You see? And some of these are just apps I got off of BlackBerry World. Um, and other ones are just flash a shock a shockwave flash file that I I found somewhere. So that's another one. Um, flip clock. Here's a 3D flip clock. Okay, that's that's this type. Turn it this way, and it will go like that. I'm sure you guys have seen that one as well. That's one that I I sometimes have on. And some of the other ones I've got. So I got dozens. This was a cool one too. That's that's one that sometimes I've had on. Anyway, that's basically it. I just I was looking for something to use my old BlackBerry for that uh, still worked, and uh, this is what I've been using it for. And then I just have all these different. Uh, I just have all these different apps that I can run, or I can, I mean, I've got, I've still got some of my old apps on here I don't use, but uh, Nixie Clock, I think that's a Nixie Clock. Yeah, that one doesn't look as good, but uh, some of them don't look as good. Some of these are Android apps, right? Because these, these, um, these old BlackBerry 10s, they could run Android, any Android app. So most of these, the ones that are apps are actually Android apps. Um, I think that's the one that I quite often run. Nope, that's not the one. Where's the one I quite often run with the flip clock? And then I can zoom it in, crop it. That's not the one I normally run, though. The one that I normally run is uh, the one I normally run is this one, I think, desk clock. Yeah, that's the one that I normally run. And, of course, on a black and white TV, it looks white, but it's actually blue. But that's that's it. There's nothing mysterious. Now you guys know how I generate the time that I just display on my CRT. It's just generated with an old smartphone just a way of finding a use for old technology and see these ones made it easy because we had an HDMI port on the side which is something that you just don't see on phones I think the only the only um, devices that I know of that had an HDMI port there was maybe a few tablets I think an old it was an old uh, uh, Thompson tablet I think had one um, the, the, the BlackBerry 10 phones, the Z10, the Z30 had it. The uh, BlackBerry's Playbook, it uh, the tablet, it had an HDMI port on it. But uh, most of them don't. But that's that's it. Now I'm going to go plug it back in and I'll show you it on, this, on the little TV again. So there it is. It's plugged back in. As I say, it, it pulls the network time off the cellular network, which of course is all GPS locked. It's within a fraction of a second. I think it's just a cool way to get the exact time to the second. And it gives me something to use some of these old CRTs for because, quite frankly, I'm not going to be watching anything on a black and white TV. 
but I got a couple of them kicking around here, these little small ones, so it just gives me something to uh, to use them for, and it's kind of a unique conversation piece, and hey, it's kind of cool, and now you know how it's done. No big secret. There was a, um, a program floating around there for a while that did the same thing for a Raspberry Pi. For the old Raspberry Pis, you could do the same thing with, and I actually did it. I have uh, an app kicking around somewhere for a Raspberry Pi that generates a clock display, but it's nothing fancy like this. I think this one looks better. That's why I use this one and not the uh, one that was for a Raspberry Pi. It was uh, it was back in the day when the Raspberry Pi when it first came out. So it was for the Pi One. I don't know if it would run on the Pi Two or Pi Three, but it was for the old Raspberry Pi One, and. Uh, it was, uh, I guess it was written probably in, in, I think it ran under noobs or something. Anyway, it was, there was a, there was a file floating around uh, on the old Raspberry Pi app store, which I think is long gone now, but I've got it on an, on an SD card uh, somewhere and they can just turn on the Raspberry Pi. But the thing is the Raspberry Pi required a network connection to get the exact time. It required a network connection to, uh, to do it, whereas this doesn't. So I use this. Anyway, that's how it works. Thanks for watching.